Hey, what's up, everybody? Hopefully, everyone's being safe. Everyone's being cautious, staying at home, practicing uh, social distancing, being sanitary. I know being at home is kind of boring sometimes, but something we got to do to try to finish off this virus, man. And I know it's affecting everyone globally. And I'm praying for a speedy recovery for those that have been affected. And Hopefully we can get rid of this and be back to our normal lives pretty soon. Now this video, I'm going to talk about something that I bought in Cali. I don't know if y'all guys remember a while back that I mentioned that I did buy something in California. Well, I'm actually inside of something that I bought in California. And I'm going to show you guys right now what it is. So I went and bought this. It's a 67 Chevy C10. Short bid. This is a step side bed. But I got a flat tire. This happened. This happened a while back. I was actually moving it. And the tire was low. And I still had to move it. So. I was giving it gas. And then the tire just came off and this is where it's at it's an inline six automatic non-ac cab the original seats probably are torn up i haven't taken this thing off the seat cover but i did buy stuff a while back Um, I had this the shifting lever. I put the original looking one for the emergency lights. Um, oh, about the kick panels, the ones that go on the floor, they go right there. I do have some little rust right there, but it's, it's not too bad. It has a little piece of rust right there. Oh, a little bit of rust right there. Cab corners are solid. Rockers are pretty solid. Doors are pretty solid. Usually here, it gets rusted out. Those are pretty solid. Pretty solid. On this side I have that tiny little piece of rust should be easy fix cap corners are good rockers are good under the door is good there's a little piece of rust that I have to fix usually you get rust here Got that little piece and the little two tiny ones there, but that ain't really bad. Those are those are pretty easy to fix. Got the little tray. This one was pretty much a basic one. Side trim molding, uh, front, sta front stabilizer, posi track with 411 gears. That's pretty good. Um, that's pretty much. This is a basic truck, but I really wanted a, a white one. This one had a wood floor and it was rotten so they put a plywood which I plan on changing out. I want to see what's under the hood. Hmm. 
296 292 automatic transmission i believe it's a 350 i don't think it's a 400 i don't think it's gonna turn on i did buy a new battery if it don't turn on right now i'm gonna go i'm gonna replace it so we could try it on I know it has an exhaust leak somewhere. I think it's right there, somewhere in there. There's manual steering, manual brakes. I do plan, well the plan is to do a LS swap on here. I was thinking maybe just a 5.3, something reliable. So I can drive the truck around and not be worried about breaking down somewhere. I hear these motors are pretty good though, but I don't want it. A while back I put some HIDs on it. Let me see if it will start. Change the battery on it. Still has the, the gas tank back here. I like to put a fuel cell and move it uh, underneath the bed. When I bought the truck, it didn't look like this. It was. Um, it was like really rusty looking like the original owner or well not the original owner the guy that i bought it from he like sanded down the whole doors and the fenders too but i took it to some guy to to paint back some of that white on it i mean it's not really how i wanted it i had told him originally i just wanted like the top and so it can look kind of like the patina right but he went a little bit overboard he started doing like patches here, here, like on the doors. I mean, it's not really what I wanted, but can't change it now. But anyway, let me get the battery and change it out. See where it starts. So here's the battery. Had to go to O'Reilly and change it because they had just given me a side post one. And this truck has a terminals for top post so yeah I wasted my time over there it's a 13 millimeter socket this ground cable is red can you confuse So what's everybody doing at home? Video games? Jugando Loteria, okay. Right on the comments, what I've been up to.
Let's see if it turns on. Should have gas. I'm gonna pump it. Okay, backfire. That's a power that way. Turns on pretty quick. Smell like it's running rich. It does have gas. Mm. Let's add a little bit for it to I'm gonna go get some fuel. Now I'll put on the carb real quick. Be right back. Alright, let's see. A ver si no se me va mucho gas ahí. A little bit too much. Let's see if Alright, so I'm tired of doing this. Might just let it sit for a while. Maybe the gas goes down or whatever. But just wanted to show you guys what I have bought. Let me turn on the lights real quick.
I like these headlights because they have that old school look to them. But you can still put an HID in there. Alright guys, so I couldn't even give up. I had to keep trying and there it goes. So I kept trying to put gas in there and I finally said, you know what? Maybe the gas that's in here is not enough. So I put some gas and now it turned on. Ain't that something? Yeah, like nothing. Pomona swap me. So I guess this truck went to Pomona swap me. And my Cali plate, which I want to rock here in Houston. I just want to ride around with it. If I get pulled over, then I get pulled over. Yeah. So this whole time, must have just been really low on gas. Well, I'm glad that was just the issue because I really didn't want to start messing with the whole engine and trying to figure out what was wrong with it. Oh, but what I will do right now, since that battery, I think that battery is still good. Turn on the truck while it's on, disconnect this battery, swap it over. And let it charge. But yep. So good thing this truck turned on finally. And then, so I was doing some yard work. I didn't get to cut the grass underneath there. I'm gonna show you that's my old school. That's bag. I'm gonna tell you why I don't use it anymore. And that's probably coming up on the next episode after this one. So yeah guys, um, be safe. You know, talk to your loved ones when you can while you still got the chance. Because you never know, maybe this thing might get worse. We never know. So everybody be safe and take care.